Hello, and welcome to section 11.2. Here are the solutions for 11.1. There was a lot of uh, neat uh, odd shapes where you had to find the area of two different um, two different uh, pieces and then add them together or subtract uh, two different pieces from each other. If you have any questions on these, let me know. Some trigonometry in there. Like I said, a lot of this stuff now that we're kind of towards the end of the the end of the book, the end of the year, you're going to be applying a lot of different things that we've learned throughout the year. Such as 30, 60, 90s, 45, 45, 90s, Pythagorean theorem, trigonometry, things like that. Okay, we're going to work with areas of trapezoids, rhombus, and kites today. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you guys the formulas. Um, but I would do this normally with, uh, with you guys to cut these shapes out and show you guys. Basically, what you do to find the area of a trapezoid is you take this trapezoid and you double it and you create um, a parallelogram and same with uh, the kite you take these and you uh, you rearrange them and you make them into a, a square um, so I would do that with you guys normally in class but um, we're gonna keep things short and to the point here today area of a trapezoid is one half height times base one plus base two if you really want um, let me get back I will definitely show you guys these cutouts here. And so you take half of the height and then multiply that by the sum of the bases. So add the two bases, multiply by height, divide by two. Uh, and then the area of a rhombus is you take the full diagonal times the other diagonal and then divide that by two. Okay, so it's not half of the diagonal times the other half of the diagonal, it's diagonal times diagonal and then divide that by two. So what you could say is D1 times d2 divided by 2. I think that might, might be a little more pre, a little preferred. And then same with uh, a kite. It's d1 times d2 divided by 2. Now keep in mind that a rhombus is a parallelogram, so you can still use base times height. So, or base times height if you have that information. Okay, let's get into some sample questions here. Again, we're just dealing with fairly basic area formulas. Uh, let's see, this one here, we have a trapezoid, an international basketball court, and free throw length. Um, this one is to find the area of that. It's a weird shape. Um, so we have base one plus base two, 3.6 plus six, so base one plus base two times the height, 5.8 divided by two. And you can just solve that there. And then here we have a guitar, and we have a, these inlays here um, are represented by rhombuses, and what they want us to do is find the area. So we have one half diagonal, one times diagonal to none. If you look at where the arrow is pointing, this 12 is referring to that there. So diagonal one is really 24. Diagonal 2 is really 18, so we'd have 18 times 24 divided by 2, and that will give you the area of each one of those inlays. Alright, one diagonal of a kite is twice as long as the other diagonal. The area of the kite is 72.25, what are the lengths of the diagonals? I'm just going to ignore these answers here, because we're actually going to solve it. Pretend it's not a multiple choice question. Uh, area equals 1 half uh, diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 for a kite. So, if I draw a picture of this kite, which is what I like to do here, it says that uh, the diagonal of one is twice long. So if this would be my shorter one, it'd be, we'd call that x. And then this would be the longer one, it'd be 2x. Okay, so we have uh, 2x times x divided by 2, well, that's convenient, equals 72.25. So those reduce, and we have x squared equals 72.25. And then I would square root both sides. And again, I'm going to ignore the, the negative answer because we're dealing with side lengths here. Okay, so I get x equals 8.5. So this one right here is 8.5, and this one here would be 17. Those would be my. Next to my diagonals there. 
Okay, you have a map of a city park. Each grid is represented by 10 meters by 10 meters. Find the area of the park. So each of these spaces are 10 is what it's saying. So that's 10, 20, 30, etc. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That would be 70. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's 50, the height. And then this is 10, 20, 30, 40. That's 40. So we could just apply the area of the trapezoid, the trapezoid area formula. So area equals uh, base one plus base two times height divided by two. So 50 is my height, base one plus base two, all divided by two. That will be your area of your trapezoid. And here's your sign. Just like yesterday, expect a few um, more challenging questions there. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you for 11.3.